drop a, a line in and let people know that uh, I haven't been doing any inspirational talks or anything like that for the last couple of days. Or hardly anything on YouTube or my YouTube channel due to the fact that I had a death in the family on Saturday. Um, my mother-in-law passed away and um, yesterday was her memorial service and today because it is actually what time is it 11 46 it's still the same day well then tomorrow is her funeral so tomorrow is gonna be a little rough so I've been holding it together and trying to keep my wife because it was her mom that passed away keep my wife going and stuff because my wife's been taking it hard and her family's been taking it rough so I've been helping them out um, I just want to let you know if you have a mother or a father or any loved ones or if you're a mom out there and you're mad at your, sibling, your kids or if you're a dad out there you're mad at your kids or your siblings and you guys are fighting with each other Rather, if it's you guys that fight with your, your cousins or uncles or whatever it is, you know, families fight. I just want to say, look, we're all here for a short period of time. If you believe in God or if you don't, we are not all going to be here forever. We are on this earth for a short period of time. No one knows when they're going to die. I, I'm a Catholic. I don't know when I'm going to get called home. So I try my best every day to not fight with my siblings. Or to not fight with my wife. Or to not fight with my cousins. Because I don't want them to have the last regret. That the last time they spoke to me was because we argued. And I don't want my last regret to be the last time I spoke to my wife or my cousins or my uncle or, or my aunt is because we argued over something stupid that could be resolved. So if you're out there and you have issues with your family, anybody, if you're listening to me, make amends with them, please. Don't go out and be mean to each other. It only takes one one person to 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 make amends, and that's it. If you make amends with your family and they don't want to accept it, then that's on them. But you, you we got one of someone's got to be the bigger person to do it first. That's just the key. Okay. Now I had a good relationship with my mother-in-law. She tr took me in. She treated me like I was her own child. So I was blessed. She showed me unconditional love. And I love her very much. And I'm going to always miss her. And she's always going to be a part of my heart. And it hurts that my mom passed away. She was only 65. And it's too sh too short and too soon. And I know I didn't take it for granted. I try to spend time with her every day. And we did stuff all together as a family would do. And stuff. So I have no regrets. And I know today... She had a great memorial, and tomorrow she'll have a great funeral. So if she was here, she would tell me we did a good job, and I'm taking care of her daughter and, and taking care of the family like I'm supposed to. Now, I lost my mom at age when she, she was 57 years old. I lost my dad when he was 49. I lost both my parents young. And there's not a day that goes by I don't miss both of them. Because I miss them all the time. And my, me and my dad wasn't close when we were younger. We had our differences when I was when I was a kid. And my mother and father got divorced. So, growing up, I didn't have him in my life. But when I was like 13, I got to know the man. 
But as soon as I got to know him, I felt like God took him away too soon because I was in my 20s. But I don't have no regrets because I took that time to make amends with him because I wanted to make amends with him. And I forgave him for what he did to me and stuff. Knock it off, guys, cats. I'm talking to my cats. They're like my children. Stop it. I'm talking. Okay, anyways. So, and my mom, she had mental health problems. I tried to be there for her when she was a child, when I was a child and all that. As an adult, I tried to leave it up to my siblings to take care of it, take care of her because I couldn't do it no more. But I was also there for her. You know, but like I said, don't wait till the last minute. Don't wait till your parents or your siblings or your cousins are on their deathbed to say I'm sorry. Make amends now. If you if you had to be the better person, if you had to swallow your pride, do it. Cause you don't want to live with that regret. Guys, I am. This is very rude. Tiggy, knock it off. Get over here. Get, you can't behave yourself, then you're going to sit right here. S Stop it. Being a good kitty. <sighs> it's hard. It's hard to bury your loved one. It's hard to bury a mother or father. It is so hard, and I wish I didn't have to do it. And, and I'm not crying right now because I'm okay with it, with the fact she's gone, you know, because she's not, she had, you know, health issues and stuff. And I don't want her to go, but... Yeah, like I said, we're only here for a short period of time. So, and I already cried earlier when I read her letter that I wrote. So, I'm sure I'll do some crying tomorrow. So, I just want to let people know that. Please, don't wait until the last minute. Don't wait for the last second. Make amends today. Make amends tomorrow. Whenever you make amends, because I don't know... Who's listening to this? If it's going, it's if this is going to the other side of the world, it's morning over there. I don't know if people are listening to it on my side, on my time. It's night over here, so I don't know where this is going in the world. If it's morning, make amends today. If you're just waking up and you're looking at this, make amends today. Or if you see it tomorrow, make amends with your family today because you never know what's going to happen, and you don't want to have regret. That's all I got to say. So I hope everyone has a great day or a nice night. And I'll talk to you guys later. And hopefully I'll get on soon and I'll, and I'll give some more inspiration talks about something positive, something happier. And maybe I'll do some other videos of something that, that's more upbringing, you know. So I just wanted to take this moment. And hopefully I can go and sleep tonight. So... Till till next time. Talk to you later.